In our next Black History Month feature, educating black children in the early 1900s leading up to desegregation through the Rosenwald schools. These schools were important parts of our local communities, including the Retreat Rosenwald School in Westminster that is celebrating 100 years. Today, I'm joined by Tri-County Technical Colleges Anderson Campus Director, Dr. Beverly McAdams, to talk about the Rosenwald schools and a special project that happened on the Tri-County campus over in Anderson. Uh, Dr. McAdams, thank you so much for joining us. Good to see you. Thank you for the invitation. Yes, I, I was telling you, I, I, a conversation kind of spurred the interest in something I had never heard about, and that is the Rosenwald School. So mm -hmm. for people who want a little context of what that is, a very important part of, uh, of black communities yes. starting in, I think, 1912. That's correct. That's correct. What are they? So just to give a little bit of history, um, Booker T. Washington, who founded Tuskegee Institute, mm -hmm. um, understanding the value of education, um, and, and he actually wrote a book up from slavery. Mm -hmm. And in that book, he describes a person getting an education is like getting into paradise. Mm -hmm. That's how much value he put on education, specifically vocational education. Mm -hmm. And so um, Julius Rosenwald, who was president and CEO of Sears and Roebuck, mm -hmm. actually served on the board of trustees of Tuskegee Institute. So that's how Julius that's the and connection. between Booker and Julius Rosenwald. And so um, Julius Rosenwald had made donations to Tuskegee. And so Booker T. Washington decided to talk with him about his idea about being able to build schools for black Americans during that time, early 1900s, mm -hmm. 1912 time frame. And um, so Julius Rosenwald bought into the idea because he valued education as well. Mm -hmm. And he put the funds up for the black communities to be able to build Rosenwald schools. That's incredible. And you guys on the Anderson campus of Tri-County Technical College, as a, pro a project, your students rebuilt one. And that's this is the only one in the United States that's been rebuilt. That's correct. And the wonderful thing about that is the uh, Anderson County Museum had been researching Rosenwald schools for some years. And um, at Tri-County Tech, we learned of Anderson County's, um, the museum's interest, mm -hmm. and began to talk with them and, and the idea of having a complete, full reproduction of a Rosenwald School on the Anderson campus became a part of the conversation and became a reality. Um, it was dedicated in 2014, and it was built by our construction technology students, which was a wonderful experience for those students to be able to learn this history and then be a part of recreating that history. And I was telling you, I, it was a part of the history that I didn't even know about until, you know, someone brought it up to me. And uh, we're, we're also lucky here in the upstate too because we have a Rosenwald School, the Retreat Rosenwald School in Westminster. And I think we have some video of that that is celebrating its 100th anniversary. And it, I mean, that's incredible to be able to have that. It's on the National Register of Historic Places. Yes, and Helen Rosemont Saunders, mm -hmm. um, who is very closely connected to that school, she's actually um, a graduate from Rosenwald School. So she knows firsthand what that experience was like. And so she actually serves on our Board of Commissioners for Tri-County Technical College. Yeah. So yes, she is very adamant about getting that word out and letting people know about Rosenwald Schools, and especially the one. Like I said, I'm in that area all the time, driving past it, mm -hmm. and never really noticed what it was until you stop and you can read the placard about how this was like the center of education for black families leading up to desegregation. That's correct. So it's a major part of our history. It uh, is. Um, at your campus, you guys offer tours as well. And I'm sure Helen, if you call her up, she would uh, take you on a tour too. Yes, definitely. We actually, um, it is open anytime. Um, we are there from eight to five every day and later, depending on classes that are being <laughs> offered there. But we are thrilled to offer people an opportunity to come walk through the replica of the Rosenwald School, tell them a little bit about the history. There's information inside that talks about the other schools that were in the area in Anderson County and other counties. And it's just a, um, a beautiful experience to kind of walk into history by visiting that school. And it's important to you. You are first generation, yes. so this is very important to you. Yes, so near and dear to my heart. Thank you so much for sharing this story. Hopefully you guys learned a little something about a big part of the, not only, you know, American history, but history history here in, in the upstate as well. Dr. Yes. McAdams, thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. Me. We'll be sure to put all this information for you at our website, uh, yourcarolina.tv.